this generation, we have this mindset that we want to protect perfection. We want to portray ourselves to be these perfect people online with our, our filtered images. And we love to rave about our graduations and, you know, our weddings and our, our new car and our, oh, we'll post that key. You know, you, <laughs> you know, when we get that new key, you post that key. Hey, I got a new place, you know? And uh, I'm not saying we should use social media to, sh to share negative things. And I'm not saying that we should, should, should use platforms to uh, share the negative vibes, but what happens is we create this ultimate perfection. Um, we post our perfect relationship. We post our perfect dog, our perfect, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever we're talking about. And the reality is that's not reality for anybody. I, I don't know anybody personally who has uh, any perfect situation. I know a lot of people who are healthy. I know a lot of people who are happy, uh, but a perfect situation that just doesn't exist. I don't have one. I I've never had one. I don't know anyone who has one. Uh, I know celebrities. They don't have perfect situations. I mean, I mean, I actually counsel with celebrities and, and they talk to me about what's going on in their life and it's far from perfect. And what I don't understand is how we've become so obsessed with focusing on perception. Why are we so focused on perception? You know what? You know what perception I care about? The inner perception, the perception that I have of self. I don't care what the outer perception is. You're not there picking me up when I'm down. You're not there telling me to keep going. You're not there when I was jogging in the rain, trying to get my cardiovascular right so I could walk on to my college football team. You weren't there when I'm getting up at four, five, six in the morning to do what I have to do to survive. So why would I care about anybody's perception other than my own? Now this brings me to you. If you are obsessed with perception, if you are obsessed with how other people see you, stop it. It's killing you. Stop it. Stop obsessing about perception. Focus on your goals and on the behaviors you're taking to get there. Perception, you can't control that and you shouldn't care to. You should, you should care to focus on creating a true reflection of self through your behaviors and mindsets and through your growth. You shouldn't be focusing on the perception that others take on you. And I'm going to I'm going to close with this. When you focus on the perception that, that others take on you, when they believe in you and love you, you feel love and they validate you. But as soon as they stop, which always happens, now all of a sudden you're insecure, you're weak, you're broken. People can turn on you in an instant. So your perception should be built upon your inner perception and it should be driven based on your your inner ego, not your inner, uh, you know, let me appease people. It should be based on you. It should be based on your desire. It should be based on where you want to be. It should be based on what you want to create, what you want to manifest, not what these other people want for you. I like this video. I'm going to post it up here on YouTube. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Sylvester McNutter III. I'm a best-selling author of seven books. Uh, I've done some motivational speaking. I really like to write and I do some speaking. And um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. You, you need this inspiration. You need this motivation. I'm bringing nothing but positive vibes, positive energy, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it light. I'm keeping it lovely, man. Keep loving. Keep living. I'll catch you guys on the, on the next side.